What the fuck? <laughs> what? I, I always have to start off this uh, Red Alert Let's Play with something uh, unexpected which you but, didn't But it's foresee. the wrong faction! <laughs> well, I don't know if the Japanese have laser swords and laser pistols, I found it oddly appropriate. Don't you have something more Japanesque? Whatever, let's just get on with it. Hello everyone, my name is Walder Richards from The Game Train. And welcome back for some more Red Alert 3 with, oh. well, me and Jorgen. <laughs> Hello. So they're finally gonna take care of the Japarizu. After our long ass vacation. Where but... we just, where we didn't actually, you know, we just got lazy and didn't finish up. Mm, well, I think everyone got the idea anyway. <laughs> but here's what I want to say. I want to share with you guys a secret. We are oh, time boy. travelers. Hey. We are real time travelers. You don't believe me? Well, we recorded this a month ago. <laughs> hmm. You I see, really feel that when I, I say that, you s when I say that, it hasn't actually happened, but it will in the future. We are time traveling at this moment. So let's start the oh, mission. This so, is too deep, man. So this is Japarizu, the Rising Sun Empire. <laughs> Oh, spaghetti! Look at Nubla. that mosquito robot. So useless. <laughs> Look at all of these people. Is this North Korea army? <laughs> no, it's. When Japanese. have you ever played the trailer? She didn't do it in the others. All right. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, sorry. Uh, time traveling really makes me forget things. <laughs> Money taken out. Of Five cents has been withdrawn from your account. Man, it's this a good thing I don't have anything in my bank account. You can't draw out anything. <laughs> now, why would you have military uh, patrolling about uh, doing a Christmas? For shits and giggles. So, I played Uprising recently, and for some reason, with the exact same graphical settings, Uprising lags. Which really <laughs> makes me wonder why, because they're practically identical. <laughs> now, I think it's it didn't start lagging before, but it started lagging and never stopped lagging ever since uh, the Giga Fortress was introduced. Because, <laughs> you know, three Giga <laughs> Fortresses were fine, but then I thought to myself, I could use three more. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean, fool? What also, you mean... excuse me? Had to get my mouse back. No, the thing is, the mouse does come in, you just have to wait a bit. Oh, but it comes instantly if I alt tab. Here's another thing about this mission. Don't do the same mistake that I did when I was on a real vacation. I, I just drove past these guys without the camouflage. Hmm. And if that happens, you will lose the mission instantaneously. So, we also took the vacation, quote unquote, because we wanted to check for some strategies that we could make use of to beat the campaign a little easier, because we had trouble with some missions. And we have developed those strategies. Well, for some of the missions, that is. The rest will just come suddenly unexpected. Yeah, like ex for example, Pearl Harbor will be an interesting thing to do, which we can beat now, because we have an idea. But we don't know if it's going to work, because it's a little fishy. But for other later missions... <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, well, if you, remember, if you remember how well the jewelry went in the Allies campaign, you know oh, but, what to expect. <laughs> but the jewel fails to Samurai. But we, we would not samurai. resort to such tactics. No, the thing is, the Jew is the samurai now. To the bad. So, if the Jew is the samurai, he is a fearless warrior. He fears nothing, for there is nothing in the world that can strike fear into his heart. Oh. To the bad. Am I wrong? Pro tip? Pro tip? No idea. You probably want to avoid the Tesla troopers. 
<laughs> Though I remember killing that guy that we were playtesting. He didn't seem like that big of a deal. Anyway, the idea in this um, sleeper mission is to destroy some statues and other things. It's really easy. Oh yeah, the fucking Tesla. Oh, the Tesla trooper picked a fight with me and lost. He didn't oh, shoot the, uh, the first part of the Japanese missions are really just a schlock to come go through. Yeah, they're sleeper missions basically. Because I mean, let's be serious for a moment. The first three missions are this one where you kind of do stuff. The second one is uh, you kind of do stuff, but not really. And then the third mission, the co-commander goes to sleep the mission. <laughs> oh yes. I just I just do my own fucking around. Speaking of which actually, you know how in that uh, mission with the Russians where uh, the executioner shows up the second time? Yes. Uh, apparently there may be more to that executioner thing than we think. In what sense? I, I don't know exactly what the stipulation is to get the executioner for either me or the co-commander. I think it might be who does more, more damage, but that's very unlikely. I think it's just if you play by yourself, you get the executioner. If you play with a player, the co-commander gets the executioner. I suppose that might be it. Because when I was playing by myself, the co-commander didn't get shit. Oh, you got it too? Yeah. Oh, I guess it would make sense. I think it, I think that's how it works. I mean, the damage thing, I don't think it would work. Because what, what would it count the damage from? I suppose, like, if you aren't really doing that much defending, that it's gonna be meaningful at all. Uh-huh. Oh, if there's anything to capture, I still got another uh, NG. Well, I have two. Oh, you didn't use any either. Well, we can nope. use them to capture uh, power plants. Mm -hmm. So the statues are gone, now we're supposed to go across the bridge. <laughs> oh, another fun thing. In Uprising, Mosquin looks completely <coughs> fucking different. <laughs> well, he, maybe he got fit. No, he got fatter and he got a different uniform. Hmm. Could I replay that myself then? Yeah, I, I just removed it like yesterday or something because I already finished the campaign twice. <laughs> I figured, well, I don't need to do this again. Uprising is okay, but it really would have benefited from being a, something that has multiplayer. But it would not be balanced. Well, I know, right? Hey, what? <laughs> I tried to do spec ops, but you can just see my little car got destroyed. Now my comrades come to reinforce me. Oh, okay. So it's just a cutscene of Moskvin being retarded. Hey, Moskvin. The reinforcements are coming in. You better run now. So let us yeah. flee. Mm, I have some money. Is something wrong with the Soviet reactor? Yes, everything is wrong with it. So you you gain access to Ninjagos. Ninjagos are pretty nice, but well, they're not very impressive. <laughs> the Ninjagos. Well, they are like um, spies that can shoot. They throw shurikens, which can knock out uh, infantry instantly, which is but, nice. But they cannot camouflage themselves as dogs. They have the smoke bomb, which is alright, they can use that for some. Sell your uh, power plant. Wait, oh. If they can use the smoke bombs to. Uh, temporarily camouflage themselves but like I said it's just a temporary solution doesn't last forever but well just look at it the fucking Tesla troopers are sitting next to me and they're not even trying to do anything oh no they're oh, fighting no. back the Ivans don't worry 
these these you bots are expendable. You mean the Yaris? Oh yes. You bots are German. <laughs> Which, uh, by the way, somebody from the Medal of Honor uh, playthrough has mentioned. I know who that person is quite well. An old time subscriber. <laughs> scribbles. To my scribbles. It's like, I figured out what the U boat stands for a long time ago. He's like, oh, U boat stands for this. <laughs> it's like, thanks. But I don't know uh, that. <laughs> Thank you for the useless information, kind sir. Well, he also said what what the actual word is in German, but whatever. Ein Untermesseling boat. Which probably means underwater boat. Yeah. <laughs> what I mean, did you expect? I mean, I'm not very good at German at all, but what else could a, a submarine actually stand for? Well, it depends if you're going, uh, get going to get a subway. Have you ever thought about that, Nave? No, that would be a sub, not a submarine. <laughs> well, it depends mean, on how retarded your language is. Well, I mean, some people here call them submarines, but I don't call them like that. But they only call them submarines here in Lithuania because submarine in Lithuanian is not called submarine. What's it called? It's called. Povandin in his life us. Atovandin da! What? <laughs> I try to Japanese your uh, U boat. Uh, arigato. <laughs> oh, arigato. <laughs> that only took 8 minutes. That wasn't interesting. I mean, that mission doesn't take a long time, so it doesn't matter. Alright. Uh, uh, rush B. Rush income. Ah uh, yes, this mission is also supposedly something. Here in this yep. mission, the, the idea is to get rid of a, a statue and then transport some stuff across the river. But do not, fellow viewers, oh, wait, I'm not a viewer, you can do stealth hops. You yeah. can go through a back of a rail track to, fi also, to swipe their defenses. Yeah, also another thing to keep in mind, uh, you have a few uh, difficulty differences as usual. Here, in normal mode, you only need 8 transports out of 10. In hard mode, like we're doing right now, you need all of the transports. You cannot afford to lose a single one. Grab the transports. Weren't there more uh, flak troopers before? Well, I helped out this time. <laughs> it feels like there was at least one more group of flak troopers before. I don't know. Oh, if you're looking to the west, I'm already snatching up profits for our new base. That's nice. I'm going to do something about our current predicament here at the base. Oh yeah. I hope you sent your uh, MCV on autopilot. Yes. Oh, I see. You sent only one thing to deal with that profit. Well, you wouldn't be a Jew <laughs> if you didn't do things like that. So, what huh? makes. Uh, I am grabbing the profit to the north, too, after all. <laughs> what makes the Japanese different? Well, here's what makes them different they work different. <laughs> they, they are transformers. Damn, look at those sweet tits, man. <laughs> Big tits dot. Oh, <laughs> uh, what uh, the Japanese do is that they, instead of building buildings like allies and Soviets do, they instead make cores. They cost the same amount as any other building from the other factions to just build, but uh, what they make up for, well, the fact that they're cores is that, well, they take a, as much time as we would uh, for other factions to build them, to unpack them. And it takes a, you some time to actually move that shit into position, position. Yeah, but the good side to that is that you can move them anywhere. You are not bound by building uh, limits. Like, he, you have this region where you can see, oh, 
This is my base outline. I can only build here with other factions. But with Japanese, you have no such limit. You can build wherever you feel like. With that in mind, you can totally take an army of defender cores and just send it to the enemy's base. If you yes, like. the AI is quite fond of doing that. In Not fact, that it work. In fact, in one of the missions, it will try to do just that. No wait, uh, not in the Japanese campaign, in the, in the Allies the campaign, that's yes. what it did, in uh, Tokyo Harbor. Did it work well? No. No. Another great thing about this is that it allows you to build various buildings in the water, like power generators. I recommend doing that because power generators, as you already know very well, are very useful and you don't want to lose them. And most of uh, the factions don't really go in the water. So. Well, the Japanese excel at the ocean. Yeah, Japanese are supposed to be good with water, but personally, I think they're good with rocket angels. <laughs> mm. uh, anyway, I feel that this mission is also gonna take a little longer than it needs to, so it's safe to say don't expect a lot of rushing in this. Uh, oh, I'm already preparing the rush force. Well, that's nice, but I mean, it's kind of hard to rush in these missions because Japanese are kind of weird. They're cool. They have a They're... lot of versatile units, but that's their downside. They're like ver they're so versatile that if you want to be prepared properly, you need to have a fairly larger amount of units. Like, you know what? Right. You, you need to make more units than you would have uh, to make right. for other factions to just do a basic crush. Like, here, here's Mecha Tangus. They're good against infantry, and they can change modes uh, from Mecha Tangu mode and Jet Tangu mode. Uh, Jet Tangu allows uh, you to attack everything that's in the air, they turn into pseudo Apollos. And Mecha Tangus are what they are right now. You could attack uh, those uh, hammer tanks if you feel like it, but why? <laughs> Just why? <laughs> <laughs> why would you punish yourself so? <laughs> Instead, send tank busters, because, like the name implies, they bust tanks. You Six bust tank for you? Sex my. Uh, guys took care of the two hammer tanks effortlessly. Oh, well you did bu build a lot of tank boosters. Yep. Alright, I'm soon ready with spec op mission. Alright. I should probably send an engineer for that oil, Derek. We could use... Oh, I've already done... Oh, oh, they went to the west? Yeah, sure, yeah. go ahead. I'll go for that. Uh, the secondary mission in this uh, is to blow up some more statues. You don't get much out of it. Some statues have cash next to them. Also, you may want to move some of your jet tangos at the west away, because they are kind of hurt. Yes. I could use some help. I'm only defending with jet tangos now. No worries. We got this. Tank busters are great for tanks and just about anything that's not an infantry unit. I am sending the spec ops mission. If you... There's just one problem with tank busters. They can't aim up. <laughs> They're like the stereotypical Robocraft player. They cannot aim up. They don't know what up is. So... You don't need to know what up is if enemy is in front of you. Yeah, but if somebody sends a twin blade or bombers on your ass, they can't do anything about it. Now look to the north where my little transports are. Follow the rail track here and you will find yourself in the enemy base. Undetected. You know, it's moments like these that I appreciate being able to issue orders on the minimap directly. Because I can spy on your little bastards while issuing orders. 
so we send out. They will not expect the sudden move when their construction yard is my construction yard. <laughs> Take everything. And then the Ivans are like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Don't mind me, kind sir. And so we practically won the mission already. Because now you can make units. You should make twin blades out of your airport. Oh, it doesn't help with that flak cannon. Yeah, it doesn't actually. That is why you just wait for me to grab this. Oh shit! Lone engineer has been. I just need to take. You know, the rest of the things. Yep. On one hand, I gotta say, it is nice that you have uh, versatility on your units, because at the beginning of the game, dealing with twin blades is annoying. Oh, they sold their base! They, they sold, sold it before I could maximize the income! No! <laughs> you stole everything! I looked away for just a minute! You well, bitch! no, uh, I wanted to get more, but they didn't wa allow me! But wait, doesn't this, that this mean that the... your outer defenses are gone too? Yes. Uh... Well, if that's the case, let's go uh... in. <laughs> so, dear viewers, that is how you simply you can do it. Wow, that is quite fast. <laughs> I didn't think we'd have a good rush going through here, but apparently that's not the... Yeah, the fucking defenses are gone. <laughs> they sold the defenses. <laughs> Nice! That is nice. What what the hell are these Ivans doing here? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but don't leave your base completely undefended, even with all these beautiful rushes happening, because what you'll also want is to prepare additional forces for the second phase of this mission. But before you blow up the main objective, consider getting rid of these extra statues. Well, you're kind of, uh, yeah, no loss in that. Well, I mean, they have exclamation points on them. They're just asking to be hit. Who's this woman again? I always forget her name. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's Russian model. Uh, Russian McTet. <laughs> BigTits.com <laughs> Young teens. Young petite teens. For you. Okay. Statues are gone. Now we're just gonna position the units where we need to be. And now just spam more twin blades, I suppose. Where did these fucking Ivans come from? Probably from the main base. Yeah, they just came in from somewhere and attacked my collector. One yeah, you're gonna... got maximum rank by blowing up a collector. <laughs> what an accomplishment! Oh wow, I got the collector! And then he got crushed by the tsunami tank. Okay, are you ready for second phase? Yeah, sure. Alright. We probably have enough. Yeah, we don't need a lot, because uh, apocalypse tanks will show up, but tank busters can take care of it. And the rest, I think is just bullfrogs and Ivans. Destroy all Soviet monument. Da. <laughs> oh yes. Destroy bridge. Yeah, but make sure if you're destroying the bridge that there are no transports underneath it. <laughs> oh, it never happened. You're lying to me, Jorgen. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it myself. <laughs> you don't know what you saw. I know what I saw. It was you saw failure nothing. that I saw. Failure! You saw, you saw nothing. <laughs> anyway, like I said, watch out. You need to get all of the transports. All 10 of them. Which really makes you wonder, why does it say transport total 10? Transports needed 10. Like, what's the point? I mean, we get it. <laughs> oh, look, an apocalypse tank. It's struggling with a singular tank buster, while the rest of them are poking it right in the butthole. And it's dead. <laughs> I lost one tank buster because of this. Apocalypse tanks suck. <laughs> Apocalypse tanks are best waifu. Yeah, if your waifu is shit. 
Oh, in there. Oh, you blow up a bridge and apocalypse tanks get confused. Tries oh, to mount so the bridge. What do I do? <laughs> this is too hard, guys. Hard mode activated. You know, I I just realized something. In Uprising, when you initiate the nano machines for uh, the tsunami tanks, they don't heal them. Shit, what? I don't get why we do that. They heal them here, but they have the exact same description, so... Oh look, I confused the bullfrog, normally to the right. Normally he would go and deploy truce, but now he's just... Yeah. Now he's just stuck. It's a good idea to kill him though, because he still mm. might deploy something. There we go. We cannot afford to lose a single transport, and these transports will come in handy in the next mission, so in case you're wondering. No, they're not just here because of reasons. They are deepest plot. Yes. It didn't take very long. So anyway, while we were going through here, Jorgen nearly crushed the transport with this bridge here. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't, see? Yeah, it was only a pixel short. You don't have any evidence. I see. Now comes the most exciting mission. Uh, behold the mighty saint of meh. <laughs>